Okay, any time. Well, this is the fifth year, if I have it correct, that the uh, Royal Rangers have come here. I look forward to them. I hope they're going to keep doing it year after year after year. Next week, a group of you are going out for a primitive camping eight tenths of a mile out our back end of our 330 acres. Mm -hmm. And we welcome that. I've been trying to promote that for several years. Some group, Boy Scouts, Rangers, they're doing that. Uh, and I just was out with a group of the kids that uh, they all had their turn at trap. Some of them, it's a struggle, but they at least hit a bird. And <laughs> one guy hit the first three out of four. One of the kids, he was here last year and did it before. Obviously, probably shoot the home too. But, mm. uh, did real well. And uh, it, it's just a pleasure to have them here with uh, the pistol. And as you know, they're going to be doing this afternoon rifle and black powder. We got that set up. I love. Uh, I was in a scouting group from the time I was a, a uh, uh, what do they call it, Cub Scouts through senior scouting and helping when I was in college. And so it just warms my heart to have all these kids here at one time. You know, today there's also a, a group of Girl Scouts, and they're having a, a camp out over the world. Yours, theirs is just general camping and camping skills. Yours is camping skills, but firearms, firearms training, and, mm. which obviously is dear to my heart. <laughs> uh, I hope you just keep coming back year after year after year. This club uh, was started in 1941, but the grounds were bought in 1950. This clubhouse behind us was built in 1952. In 51, they had a priorities right, they built the first range, the 200-yard range. And we've been expanding ever since. Pretty soon we're going to have a out to 600 yard range. We now shoot out to 800. Wow. We have 50 and 100 yard ranges under a covered firing line. And uh, so there's uh, plenty to learn shooting skills here. The uh, uh, very first year they bought the land in 1950, there was a Boy Scout group camped here from the Plymouth Troop, Group 56, which still exists. In fact, a group of them were here last weekend. Wow. Not for shooting, just for camping skills. And there has been youth camping, uh, some with shooting, some not, every year since then. Between the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, uh, another church group, your Royal Rangers. Uh, so we're talking, what, 50, uh, 57 continuous years there's been youth. It's a priority. Uh, when we have the board meetings and discuss, can we fit this in, can we fit that in? Youth organizations has a almost a priority. Uh, there are some things that, like the cowboy shoot tomorrow, the second of four of them for the season. The next one in July will be the official sanctioned state championship for. I know, we've run that four or five different times now, and uh, but and there some of those are on the same dates every weekend, every year. But other than that. Uh, the youth groups fit in a priority, and again, even today, they're down prepping for the SAS Cowboy Shoot tomorrow, and some of your people are going to stay and watch it. And later today, this afternoon or early evening, I have several of the active Cowboy Shooters. They're going to do a clinic for you, for your kids and the adults and learn how to do Cowboy, and I know some of you are going to stay, stay and watch it tomorrow. Of course, we hope some of you will say, hmm, i got to try that. Mm. And that's, that's what we hope is going to happen. But it's, uh, it's uh, taming the Old West. It's uh, uh, role-playing scenarios where we, scenarios or stages, groups of shooters that r shoot out stories of taming the West, getting the wrestlers, the bank robbers. Sometimes we have to get somebody's brother-in-law out of here, but uh, <laughs> we have fun shooting. It isn't just guys, it's about 25% of them will be women. It's a great sport. So anyway, keep coming back year after year. You're welcome. And if you don't, I'll probably hunt Jerry down and say, why aren't you coming back? <laughs> You're mad at us. So I love to see you having a good time. And the best thing is, if I get hungry, I go down. You always offer me something. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's an important part of it. All right. Thank you.